honoring Ketanji Brown Jackson. When Ketanji Brown Jackson was in high school, in her yearbook she wrote she wanted to go into law and eventually have a judicial appointment. From the time she penned that note in 1988 to present day, Ketanji Brown Jackson has accomplished all of that and made history. During her legal career, she served on the U.S. Court of Appeals as a district judge in the District of Columbia and also as the vice chair of the U.S. Sentencing Commission. In 2016, following the passing of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia, Ketanji Brown Jackson's daughter Layla wrote a letter to then-President Barack Obama recommending her mother for the Supreme Court. In February of 2022, she was formally nominated for the Supreme Court by President Joe Biden to replace the retiring Justice Stephen Beyer, who she had also worked with as a clerk early in her law career. In June of 2022, when she was sworn into the Supreme Court, Ketanji Brown Jackson rested her hand on two stacked Bibles. One was a family Bible, and the other was formerly owned by Supreme Court Justice John Marshall Harlan. Harlan was the only justice to vote no in the 1896 Plessy v. Ferguson case, which upheld racial segregation. Ketanji Brown Jackson is the 116th person to serve on the Supreme Court and the first black woman to be a Supreme Court Justice. Honoring Ketanji Brown Jackson